3A3 Hydraulics Lab Practical 2 Pipe Flow Pipe flow is the branch of hydraulics that deals with the movement of fluids within a closed conduit. Pipe flow, unlike open channel flow, does not have a free surface subjected to atmospheric pressure. Flow is a result of pressure differentials across the conduit, with the magnitude of flow being proportional to the pressure difference. Energy in pipe flow is expressed in terms of head and is defined by the Bernoulli equation. The flow in pipes is a function of its potential, kinetic and pressure energy, minus the energy lost along its length. Energy loss in a pipe is, in itself, made up of friction losses and local losses. Friction losses are caused by forces between the liquid and solid boundaries, distributed along the length of the pipe. Local losses, meanwhile, are caused by disruptions to the flow due to local features such as bends, valves, etc. The hydraulic grade line represents the locus of elevations to which the water would rise if open to atmospheric pressure. In this video, we will conduct a number of experiments using the pipe flow apparatus within the hydraulics lab. The objective is to demonstrate the following pipe flow phenomena. Number 1. Variations in head loss with pipe roughness. Number 2. Variations in head loss with pipe diameter. Number 3. Flow and head loss through a pipe network containing parallel pipes and local head losses. The pipe flow apparatus consists of a number of pipes of different diameters and internal roughnesses. The pipe or pipes through which water flows may be selected by way of opening or closing the individual inlet valves. An attached hydraulic bench includes a pump to circulate water through the system. The rate of flow provided by the pump may be adjusted via throttle on the front of the hydraulic bench and is measured using a flow meter on the pipe flow apparatus. Measurements of pressure within the pipes may be taken at a number of set points. To do so, a tube running from a pressure gauge is attached to the measurement manifold. The manifolds are located at 1 meter intervals. Two types of gauges are present. Low pressure gauges, in which the head is illustrated in a graduated standpipe, and high pressure gauges, where dials are used to display the current value in terms of bars. In this video, only the high pressure gauges will be used. Part 1. Head loss due to pipe roughness. Water flowing in a pipe loses pressure, or head, as a result of friction between the fluid and the conduit. The basic representation of friction losses, valid for both laminar and turbulent flow, is the darcy weisbach equation. The friction factor, F, is a function of the Reynolds number, or E, and the relative roughness of the pipe. The relative roughness is the ratio between the absolute roughness and the pipe diameter. Or E, F, and the relative roughness can all be represented on the Moody diagram, which may be used to determine if flow in a pipe will be laminar or turbulent in nature. In this part of the experiment, we will determine the effect of pipe internal surface roughness on head loss. Water will be directed to flow individually through pipes 1 and then pipe 4. These pipes have a similar internal diameter, 17mm for pipe 1 and 16.5mm for pipe 4. The inside of pipe 4 is smooth due to its construction from PVC. Pipe 1, however, has had its internal surface coated in sand so as to produce a rough interface with the flowing fluid. The flow rate entering the pipe will be recorded, as will the change in head, HF, between the two measurement manifolds. As stated earlier, these are located 1 meter apart. This procedure will be repeated for a number of different flow rates, and all of the results recorded.
The table on screen represents the data obtained whilst running this experiment. This data, and all other relevant data for this lab, may be accessed by following the QR code or URL link on screen, and in the description box below. From these measurements of head and flow, please calculate the head loss, HF, in meters, and velocity, V, in meters per second, using the following formula. Plotting HF against V will clearly illustrate the effect of surface roughness on head loss. Please also use the following equation to determine the Reynolds number of flow in each pipe under the various flow rates. Is the flow laminar or turbulent in each case? Part 2. Head loss due to pipe diameter. In this experiment, head loss in two pipes with different internal diameters will be compared and contrasted. Pipe 3, which has an internal diameter of 6.5mm, and pipe 4, which has an internal diameter of 16.5mm, will be used for this purpose. Pipe 3 is constructed of acrylic, and pipe 4 of PVC. Both have smooth internal surfaces. The experimental procedure is much the same as that used in part 1. The pressure readings at both manifolds are measured for both pipes under a number of different flow rates. Results from this experiment are tabulated on screen. Please use this data to calculate the head loss HF in meters, velocity V in meters per second, and Reynolds number or E for each pipe under each flow rate as per part 1. Please also calculate the friction factor F for both pipes using the Darcy Weisbach equation. Again, please plot head loss versus velocity for each pipe to compare the influence of pipe diameter on head losses. Also plot Reynolds number versus friction factor for both pipes. The Moody diagram, as covered in your lectures, can be used to determine whether each flow encountered in this part of the experiment is laminar or turbulent. Furthermore, plotting the Reynolds number and friction factor for each flow condition on the Moody diagram will allow for the determination of the relative roughness of both pipes. Please determine these values and include them in your report. Part 3. Flow and head loss through a pipe network containing parallel pipes and local head losses. In this experiment, the magnitude of flow and head loss in each pipe within a network containing parallel pipes will be determined. The network to be analysed is as follows. As before, the flow rate entering the network is first measured using the flow meter. The head, or pressure, at each of the 10 nodes along the network is then measured and recorded.
The following tabulated data presents the recorded pressure values at each node under a continuous flow rate. It can be downloaded via the links on screen. This experimental data must then be compared and contrasted to the theoretical values predicted by an EPANET model of this network. The EPANET program may be downloaded via the link on screen and its use will be covered in lectures. How do the experimental and theoretical values compare? Is there any discrepancy between the recorded and modelled values? Please provide any reasons why differences may exist, as well as any assumptions made. And that concludes this Pipeflow lab session. Details on report submission will be provided soon by our lecturer. Best of luck.